Before I take you to your rooms, I wanted to walk the two of you through the process of renting out one. Darlena explained, waving a hand at a terminal on one side of the stairs. An identical terminal could be found on the opposite side. Standing in front of it, Claire read the words displayed. Please tap your bracelet on the screen to begin the process. When first starting out, you'll need to tap your bracelet on the screen. This allows the terminal to learn about your absorption rate. Darlena motioned with its wrist to mimic the action needed. It looked at the two to make sure they were following along. Raising an eyebrow, Hannah asked, Why does it need our absorption rate? Can't we just input the room we need? Smiling patiently at Hannah's question, Darlena said, Since the rooms are filled with an above background level of energy, we need to make sure that you'll be able to handle the amount you'll be exposed to while you sleep. Raising a finger of warning, remember, your body will be absorbing the energy while you sleep, meaning if the energy is too pure, it'd be like eating dozens of those meat sticks you tried earlier. Claire moved her eyes from the terminal to look at the robot, shocked by the news. Though she understood that such a thing would likely be the case, it was even more dreadful to hear it being told to them. Feeling the raw power rushing throughout her body, making it feel as though it was being torn apart, wasn't something she wanted to experience again. This terminal allows you to rent out the rooms and restricts you to only select the ones that your body is able to handle. Compared to food, the feeling will be nearly unnoticeable to allow you to be able to comfortably sleep. Darlena carefully explained to them. Nodding her head, Claire raised the bracelet and tapped it on the screen. Even though they already had a room readied, it was important for them to learn how to use the technology. This was especially the case with how advanced the terminal was compared to what she'd seen at school. Recognizing the information on her bracelet, it flashed the level of her absorption rate before switching to dozens of floor plans available to her. Casually checking out the plans, her eyes opened wide at seeing the price for many of them. 50 guild points? She couldn't help but cry out at the number. Darlena giggled at Claire's reaction. That's for the top room for what you're able to handle. Not just with the energy, this room has a variety of amenities inside of it for maximum comfort for the adventurer. It pointed an icon to signal for Claire to tap on it. Just touch the screen. Nodding, Claire touched the icon. The screen changed to show more information about the room. At the top of it were numerous pictures, each image being displayed briefly before switching to a different one. Just use your finger to scan through the information. Darlena made a flicking motion. Touching the screen, it didn't take long before Claire was effortlessly checking out the room. She flipped through the pictures and was amazed at how it looked. Even the rooms at Star Moon Studio didn't have the same ambiance that the room on the screen had. As you can see, the room comes with a full-size bathing area. Compared to our test areas, Designed to see whether the underground city concept would work, this city is one of the newer ones to be created. This means that it was built with comfort in mind. Though, there were thousands of cities designed even after this one. Darlena continued to explain what Claire and Hannah were seeing. Hannah's eyes were glued to the screen, amazed at what she was seeing. When Claire looked at her friend, she giggled at Hannah's expression makes you wonder what type of food and rooms they have available in the new underground cities, right? She playfully nudged Hannah with a shoulder. Tearing her eyes from the screen, Hannah nodded. I'm even more curious about the rooms that are above us. Hannah pointed above them to the higher tiered rooms. Darlena smiled at Hannah's words. Just as you guessed, the rooms on the higher levels are far more extravagant. 
But with the comfort that such rooms bring to an adventurer, the price of the room reflects such a thing. The robot smiled mysteriously at them. How much? Claire felt compelled to ask. There are some rooms that cost tens of thousands of guild points per day. Darlena smiled. 